Hey, what's going on? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to concentrate 3% hydrogen peroxide, standard stuff that you buy at like the grocery store or whatever, to 30%. So, uh, uses for this can be anything from bleaching your hair to uh, making bombs and everything in between. So, later on you'll probably be figuring out what I use it for. Um, you're going to start with a, a beaker and I just measured out about 200 milliliters so if it's 3% and you want to get to 30% that's a 10 times increase so that means I need to I'm going to be evaporating the water out of the hydrogen peroxide and then we're going to wait till the liquid gets down to about 20 milliliters and theoretically it should be about 30% but I mean you don't need like anything specific for whatever you're trying to do really um, so start by cleaning out your beaker really well you want to make sure it's as dust free as possible uh, the more dust or anything you have in there the uh, faster the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide will and that will result in a uh, less less potent product so without further ado let's, uh, let's start getting this going so just Place it on your burner in your kitchen, it doesn't really matter. People talk about the um, fumes causing explosions, but I mean, I'm not going to be having it on high enough for it to really do anything. All I'm doing is just evaporating the water, so I'm just, really, it's it's only like 100, 100, 100 degrees Celsius, so. Um, Alright, so I got my hydrogen peroxide placed on the burner. I'm going to turn the uh, temperature down on low, it doesn't got to be high, just enough to put it up just below boiling point. So the boiling point for hydrogen peroxide is about 300, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, I mean all you need to do is evaporate the water so as long as you don't turn it on high enough you wouldn't have any risk of explosion. So what you're going to do is you're just going to let it sit and come back momentarily check on it and uh, wait for it to evaporate down to about 20 milliliters so just you gotta keep an eye on it and as it starts getting down lower uh, you might want to turn the turn the heat down even lower so that way it doesn't start to boil you don't want any splashes and uh, you don't want any dust getting inside there so we'll come back here in a bit and check on it alright so we're back after about four hours and finally got down to it's like right on the 25 milliliter mark so it's not exactly 30 percent but for what I'm using it for all I need it to be is like over 20 so uh, I'm just gonna turn the burner off and you gotta be really careful with handling this stuff I mean not only is it hot right now but it's, it'll uh, corrode your skin so keep it off your skin uh, I've got it on my skin before and it burns really bad. If you do get some on your skin, just flush it with cold water, and uh, you can uh, make a uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda water solution and pour it on there. That's supposed to neutralize it. So yeah, thanks for watching.